Hey everybody. So I hope you have your problem set out and ready to go. Um, this is what I was asking you to do for last night. Um, the problem set has to do with inequalities. And again, an inequality is anything that has the symbol that's greater than, less than, greater than equal to, or less than equal to. So the inequalities, we find them in real world um, problems. Like if you have a time frame that you need to get something done, like um, when you have homework for me, I give it to you on Monday, it's due on Friday. You have a certain amount of time to do things. So those are some real world inequalities that we can write from a real world situation that affects us um, in general. Also, like if you are baking a cake, um, on the box it'll tell you um, a time interval. Like they'll tell you that brownies need to be in between 20 and 22 minutes. So they give you that problem there, that um, time frame. And that's kind of what we're doing with these too. So if you would take a look at your problem set, get that out, get it ready to go. So it's uh, the first one says, um, well, they say to write and graph an inequality for each problem. So at least 13. So we have an unknown that is at least 13. So is it greater than 13? No. Well, it could be. It could be greater. It can't be less than. I'm sorry. It can't be less than 13. Greater than means it's at least. So it's greater than or equal to 13. So when we look at this um, inequality, it is including because it's equal to. So since it's including, we need to put the solid circle. And then since it can be greater than, our line is going to be going over the numbers that are more than 13. So then that takes into consideration 13 and more. All right. So for the next one, it says less than seven. It doesn't say at least, it doesn't say um, more than, um, it just says less than seven. So we've got our unknown and we have that it is less than seven. So does it include seven? It doesn't say that it includes seven. So since it doesn't say that it includes seven, it is an open circle. So less than seven, the line is going to go to the left to include the numbers that are smaller than seven. All right, so now we're getting into some of the real world problems. These were just uh, a warm up. So Chad will need at least 24 minutes to complete a 5K race. However, he wants to finish the race in 30 minutes. So I'm going to use X as my unknown, and I know that Chad wants to um, run this race at least, uh, he's going to at least take 24 minutes. So we've got 24 minutes, and since it says at least, it's 24 is less than or equal to what he is going to run or what he expects to run. But he has to be completed in 30 minutes. So what he wants to do is complete it in less than 30 minutes. So that would be our inequality. So that shows that Chad has, he'll be at least running for 24 minutes, but he'll have to go less than 30 minutes. So does that include 30 minutes? Well, do we have an equal sign here? No, we don't. So that's going to be an open circle. Does it include 24 minutes? Well, yes, it does because it's less than or equal to. So again, there's our range. Remember we were talking about like your homework or a cake. Those are all things when we have a range of time. So it's gonna to have to be in between those two values. All right. Ava saves $60 each week. Since she needs to save at least $2,400, <coughs> excuse me, to go on a trip to Europe, she will need to save for at least 40 weeks. So, Ava, Ava's amount is going to have to be, um, or the 
amount of time she saves is going to have to be greater than or equal to 40 weeks. Greater than or equal to. Greater than means it can be more, and it says that right here, at least 40 weeks. So can it be more than 40 weeks? Yes. Can it include the 40 weeks? Well, it says at least 40 weeks. So that's why we wrote the greater than or equal to. So yes, it can include 40 weeks. So that's going to be a solid circle. Now, can she save for more than 40 weeks? Yes, at least 40 weeks. So she could save for longer than 40 weeks. All right. Now, Clara has $100. She wants to buy four pairs of the same pants. Due to tax, uh, we all know about tax, Clara can afford pants that are less than $25. So the pants that she buys, she purchases, if she wants to buy four pairs of them, they have to be under $25. So the number of pants, or the pants, have to be less than $25. We already know that. Well, I know she's going to buy, um, I know that when she purchases them, that they're going to have to be under the $25 or she won't have enough money to pay for the tax. So it will not include the $25. So that's going to be an open circle. But it is going to be less than $25. So I know which way my line has to go. All right, a gym charges $30 per month plus $4 extra to swim in the pool for an hour. Because a member has just $50 to spend at the gym each month, the member can swim at most five hours. Well, that makes sense because we've got, we've got $30 for the month, we've got $4 extra, and so for five hours, five times four is 20, so then that would get to the $50, and that's all they have to spend. So that makes sense. So can they swim for five hours? The member can swim at most five hours. So five hours is at most what they can swim. So does it include the five hours? Yes, it does. Okay, so um, now if we know five hours, we know that they can, that the unknown here, how much time they spend, can be either less than or equal to five hours. So we can, um, when I'm looking at this, I know that I'm not going to be including six hours because six hours, that would be $24 and that would be over the $50 limit that they had to spend. So I'm going to have to go less than five hours. That's all they have um, in order to spend for that time at the gym. So if you would look at your exit ticket right now, I'm going to give you some clues with the exit ticket and um, that might help you out when figuring the answers. So we've got Keisha. Keisha needs to make at least 28 costumes for the school play. Since she can make four costumes each week, Keisha plans to work on the costumes for at least seven weeks. So we've got seven weeks, we know, and Keisha should plan to work on the costumes for seven or more weeks. Seven or more weeks. So if we have our unknown, as being the number of weeks, we know that she can do more or equal to the seven weeks, all right? So I'll repeat that. Keisha should plan to work on the costumes for seven, seven or more weeks. Okay? All right, so that should give you a clue. And then with your number line, you're gonna fill in the numbers according to the numbers that you're using in the equation. All right, now if Keisha has to have costumes complete in 10 weeks or fewer, 
how will the solution change? Well, if Keisha had seven or more weeks in problem one, right, seven or more weeks here, then it should, it'll still take her at least seven weeks. So it'll take her at least seven weeks. But no more than 10 weeks. Okay, you're going to use the information that you glean from this in order to make the graph too in your number line. Okay, so if you have any questions about anything we've gone over today, you can always email me and I will get back to you. All right, keep watching, stay curious, and always keep learning. See you tomorrow.